Android versus iOS. The face off between the two leading platforms. Hi all, this is Vaishnavi from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session on Android versus iOS. So first we'll start off with taking a look at the agenda for this session. So first I'll be discussing about the market shares of these platforms followed by which I'll be discussing the parameters based on which I'll be comparing both Android and iOS and then we'll take a look at the major differences between them and finally we'll wrap up this session by taking a look at which platform you should go for. I think the agenda was clear to you guys and I also suggest you to subscribe to our Edureka YouTube channel to never miss out any update on the latest technologies and Hit the bell icon to never miss any notifications. All right, so let's get started. Now, when you talk about application development, Android and iOS lead the line. This is because of their popularity, efficiency, customer satisfaction, and many more. And more likely, Android and iOS are like two faces of the same coin. I've seen a lot of people who've switched from Android to iOS, and also people who've switched from iOS to Android. But the switching is not very easy. You need to get accustomed with a lot of things. All right. Now talking about their market share, Google's Android holds close to 88% of the market share, which might seem like a better choice. But can you ignore the high monetization prospects that Apple's iOS platform offers? The first simple solution that you can think of would be to develop both these platforms simultaneously. But one major drawback is. Every company does not have a budget for it. Now, how exactly these both work? Android is like free of cost, right? You can just go to the Play Store, download a few apps that you want, that's it. But what about iOS? iOS has another procedure which it follows, right? Now, you can take a look at this graph over here. To the number of Android users and iOS users from the past one year, that is from 2018 to 2019 September. So you can see that Android users are actually on top. So that is because the Android devices which are manufactured are very high and many people across the world prefer using Android because of the cost. But when you talk about the quality and applications or the security which iOS provides people would opt for iOS but that is not in range guys. iOS is a little too costly compared to Android. So the cost that you're going to be spending on Android is less and the cost that you're going to be spending on iOS is going to be a little more. Now you can see that Android leads in the section of mobile development. And this is a demography where you can see that the number of customers using Android and iOS and here also you can see that Android leads with a solid 74.45 percentage. This is way too massive guys. This is about their market share guys. Now in total if I have to sum up this entire market share of Android and iOS Android has scored a goal over here because like I mentioned the cost which is actually the first factor which anybody would look out for and people who look out for security and more other features which is not provided by Android but when you talk about security features which are not present in Android iOS is going to be leading the industry there. But overall Android actually leads the market guys for the year 2018 and 19. So now that you guys have understood the market share for Android and iOS let's move ahead and discuss the parameters based on which I'll be comparing both Android and iOS. So these are the parameters guys I'll be comparing them based on their development complexity their cost, the programming languages which is used, the security and the speed. Now let's start pointing out the major difference between them. So Android has a very high development complexity. So it normally takes around 30 to 40 percent more time to develop an application on Android rather than doing it on iOS. Okay. So the development complexity like I mentioned in Android is a little high compared to iOS. Now talking about cost like I mentioned cost is a major factor which people would look out for and now Android costs more due to higher testing period iOS does not require more testing. So the cost which you're going to be investing on the development purpose is going to be less. Now that's another reason why iOS devices or Apple iPhones are a little too costly because the development cost is less but the investment 
on the company and the product is going to be more. So that's the reason the device is a little too costly. Now talking about the programming language Android mainly requires Java and Kotlin, which is actually very easy to learn and understand. Whereas in iOS you need to have basic knowledge of Objective C or Swift for native development. There's also a little too tough guys because Java is our open source programming language and most of the people out there know how Java works. I know it is a little too complicated when it is compared to Python, but yeah objective C or Swift is a little too tough when it is compared to Java. Okay, now talking about the security Android is not very secured when it is compared to iOS, but iOS is highly secured. You're going to be paying so much but it is worth spending so much money on something that is going to keep you secure right now talking about the speed Android has a faster mean download, but when you talk about iOS speed it is much faster than Android So you can see that here. We've actually got into a tie that is Android has its own advantages and iOS has its own plus points So which platform should you work on in order to develop the right application? Now choosing the right platform for application development depends solely on the user. Although the user has the vision of selecting the right one which is more suitable for his organization. There may be a lot of Android users across the world, but the quality and the resistance that iOS offers can never be matched. So know what you're developing to choose the right platform. There is nothing much superior when it comes to choosing the right platform. Like I mentioned Android has its own advantages and iOS has its own advantages. Make sure that you select the perfect one. Take a look at their pros and cons like which one is going to be suitable for your organization. Just start working on it and then bam you're there. So with this we come to the end of this video on Android versus iOS. I hope you guys have understood everything that has been discussed in this session. If you have any queries related to any of the topics, just put them on on the comment section below and we'll get back to you at the earliest. And also do mention which topic do you want us to teach next so that we would know what to work on. So that's it from my end guys. Kickstart your learning with Edureka now and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!